Hello my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my loves, so let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we have the Six of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Leos, please. All right, so we've got the Fool, Aries Energy, and we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Under the deck, we have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. So Leo, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. Take it as it resonates, okay? So Leo, I feel like someone here is coming to the realization here. They're having this awakening that um, they had a major empty victory here because the five of swords talks about being in this energy of like let's just say you had an argument with somebody and they they walked out the door and they said you know what i could do better than you i don't need you i don't need this they walked out slammed that door and said you know what i am never coming back i, I don't need you i don't need this and i am never coming back um What's happening here is this person is realizing that it was a loss. The action that they took, um, it, 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 they're not winning here. Okay. So, you know, Leo, that could be you, that you were in your pride for a moment. You withdrew from something and you're like, yeah, that was a mistake, <laughs> you know, or it could be your person. All right. Um, with the hermit card that tells me that someone here withdrew from something and now they're gaining that enlightenment now, you know, especially with the ace of swords and the hermit, now someone's in this energy of, man, you know, I'm, I'm really analyzing this. And, you know, I took action towards something thinking I was going to have a victory that did not lead to victory. Okay. With the six of wands in the reverse, um, someone here made a very reckless, impulsive decision. Maybe they even sabotaged the connection with you, Leo. And I feel like, you know, they're starting to awaken to that, that that was a bad idea. Now with the full card and the strength card, I feel like someone here wants to take action. They want to take a risk. Um, but with that strength card, as of right now, they're holding back. Um, the strength card talks about really wanting something, but trying to listen to your higher self and say, no, let me not go there. Okay. Let me not go there with the death card, scorpionic energy. I feel here that, um, you know, there was an, a final ending between you and this person. So Leo, this may be someone that you haven't spoken to for quite some time. It's not someone that maybe you haven't been speaking to for 24 hours. This I'm feeling is someone that in the past really made a messed up mistake, okay? Or Leo, you may find yourself thinking back, you know, about someone from, you know, a year ago, two years ago, <coughs> six years ago, I don't know, you know, 
and thinking, man, I shouldn't have walked out on this person, okay? Um, there's a sense of realizing that, you know, I am not winning at life. You know, since I've made this one decision, I am not winning at life. And with the death card, I am seeing with this enlightenment that's coming into this person's life, major change, major transformation, Leo, okay? Major. So let's see what they're going to do. Let's see what's happening here. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here today for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about the six of wands in the reverse. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Yeah, I feel like someone here cut someone out of their life. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Yeah, someone thought it was a victory to either cut you out, Leo, because I'm seeing two swords up, okay? Someone here thought it was a victory to cut you out, uh, and it turns out that it wasn't a victory, okay? Um, or Leo, you thought it would be a victory to get rid of someone, and you're realizing that maybe that wasn't a good idea okay we have the two of cups under the deck it could be here that someone blocked or pushed away a soulmate connection and now with the nine of swords under the deck they're not doing so great okay let's see what else we have here spirit tell me about the five of swords for leo the five of swords Four of Wands in the reverse. Again, very strong soulmate energy here. Divine counterpart could be Twin Flame, the 1111 card. Five of Swords, someone here sabotaged a home, a family, a marriage. Um, they sabotaged something that was, could have been really amazing. And I feel like they're realizing that now. Um, the World card, again, this is a chapter ending, a cycle ending. This could be completion, uh, a karmic lesson that someone here had to learn. Tell me about the Hermit. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So in the current moment, whoever this is, they're not talking. Not to you, not to anyone. Someone here is... Um, wanting to be left alone. We've got the hanged man under the deck, Piscean energy. So let's just say you're like, no, gee, that's not me. That's my person. Okay. All right. Well, this person, regardless of how things may look on social media or whatnot, they are, I don't want to say depression. This person's not going through a depression. It's just, they want to be left alone. This person's not going out. They're not having a good time. This person is spending a lot of time to themselves and thinking. They're spending a lot of time to themselves and thinking about the situation that they're in, the situation that they created for themselves, okay? They're not really talking. They're not making any moves right now. Tell me about the full card. The Hermit. Yeah, see, Virgo Energy. This person wants to take that leap of faith. They want to take the risk. They want to come towards you. Um, this person may be in an energy where because their thoughts are are so crazy and they're so like, I feel like the five of wands is a representation of inner conflict for this person. They're just focusing on work right now. They're focusing maybe on, I'm actually hearing, cause we have the seven of pentacles under this. So I'm actually hearing that this person may be thinking about the fights that you guys had and how you guys could have worked them out. And with the eight of cups, how someone instead chose to walk away and pursue something new. And with the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, and the Five of Pentacles, what's happening here is the divine is at work here. The divine is at work with the death card to create major change, major transformation, ending of a certain cycle, the beginning of something new. With the five of pentacles here, someone's feeling lonely, left out in the cold. Um, there's a fear that maybe they can't bring this, this back together and that they've lost you for good. Yeah. So... I feel like we have someone here that really wants to take a leap of faith. They really do. But with the hermit there, they're, they're taking the time out to really think and analyze the situation. Tell me about the strength card. We've got the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. I feel like ultimately, oh, look, we've got the death card here again, Scorpionic energy, the death card and the death card. Um, cancer, I feel, oh, sorry, not Cancer, Leo. I feel that... Um, See, the problem here is, Cancer, is that 
what is it with the cancer? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're my first reading of the day. It's five o'clock in the morning, so you can't even say. I have, Some of you may honestly be dealing with a cancer or have it in your chart, or you're just taking on the energy of a cancer where someone's very in their emotions, okay? This person may be very in their emotions at the moment. So what I was trying to say was, I feel like someone here knows that if they take this leap of faith, if they come towards you, uh, or, you know, Leo, if you go towards this person, I don't know what side this is, whoever's on this side, if they should make a move, it's going to be a major tower moment in their life. I mean, it's going to bring forth so much change, so much transformation, and it's going to be shocking, shocking to themselves, shocking to you, shocking to the people around them. Okay. Um, a lot of people are going to be shocked. Wow, guys, the sun is coming up. I, I should put a post a picture of what you have no idea what I'm seeing right now in the, in the sky. It's like pink and purple and just like such unbelievable. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's going to be such a huge tower. Like it's like it's going to be their whole life is going to have to be rearranged if they reach out to you. So I don't know, you know, what that entails. Maybe this person moved at a distance far away and they'd have to move back towards you. Maybe this person's in a relationship and that would have to fall. Or maybe this person, uh, you know, spoke a lot of crap to you, to their family, and now they're coming back to you and it's going to be a huge shock to everyone in their family. You know, something here, it's going to be like a huge life-changing event in this person's life if they should reach out to you, okay? I feel like when they do decide to do it, it's going to be quick. Like, it's just going to be, they're going to be like, screw it, and they're just going to send that message. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Leos, please? Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos? Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. And there's that tower again. There's that tower again. Okay, so Leo, under the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Um, so here's what I'm feeling, Leo. Sorry, guys, my nose has been running. I feel like in the past, what we have here is a situation where this person, Leo, I feel like the person on this side um, maybe wanted to try to work things out, but the other person did not feel the same way, so the offer was turned down, okay? So Leo, if this is your side in the past, you were like, you know, we can try again, we could work this out, you know? And maybe that offer was turned down because I'm seeing that the person did not feel the same way and a new beginning did not take place. This person did not want to start over again, okay? Now, in the present moment, Leo, I feel like you're having a lot of trouble opening up your heart to new love. It's difficult for you for some reason, okay, to open up your heart to new love. Now, I feel like in the near future, with the Four of Swords in the reverse and the Tower, there's about to, something here is about to happen that not only is going to help you heal, but it's going to be, a, again, Tower, Tower, both in the same spot. Tower, Tower, okay? Um, I feel like something unbelievable is about to happen, like a miracle is about to happen, and it's going to help you heal, but moreover, there's this energy of someone taking action, okay? There's an energy of someone taking action, very unexpected action, something that you never thought in a million years would happen. Queen of Pentacles, we've got someone here that, you know, Leo, I feel like the person on this side, um, as much as they've tried to move forward and start a new beginning, it's been difficult for this person here because maybe they've still in some way, shape, or form remain loyal or, or committed to the person over here without even realizing it without even realizing it spirit tell me about the six of pentacles in the reverse the five of swords there goes that sabotage energy here so someone here walked away and i feel like this person actually said are you sure you don't want to work this out we can work this out and this person's like no i don't need you i don't need this i can do better like someone here was acting like a total butthead tell me about the ace of pentacles in the reverse the ace of pentacles in the upright so you see one person wanted to work it out the other person didn't one person wanted to try again the other 
other person didn't, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the present moment. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Two of Swords. We have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So... <clears throat> What I'm feeling here, Leo, is that there are people that are pursuing this person. There are people that wanted to offer this person new beginnings in love. But with the Two of Swords, I'm feeling like this person was very closed off, not emotionally available. Why? Because with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands, I feel like this person was waiting for victory. They were waiting for this person to come running back to them. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like someone here was waiting for victory. They knew that one day this person would come running back. They just, for some reason, knew. I don't know. Okay. Tell me about the Four of Swords in the reverse. Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. So this could be a marriage that's being healed. Okay. It could be a marriage that's being healed. <coughs> or it could be the divine stepping in to heal the situation. It could be the divine that's moving both of you. You know, this could be a, a soul contract that you have with this person. Um, we've got the tower in the reverse and the nine of cups in the reverse. I feel like there's an energy here, Leo, where you have been very unhappy, very emotionally dissatisfied and just kind of like dealing with it. And then boom, out of flipping nowhere, this tower hits. Give me one more on this tower please and next thing you know temperance there's peace there's forgiveness there's tranquility everything settles down like it's like you go from this energy of like being so unhappy to boom out of nowhere everything is healed and good again uh sagittarian energy and you see look we've got an angel and the hierophant an angel in the Hierophant. So the divine is definitely at work here. Look, we've got the Emperor, the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Star. Someone is coming in for very, very high levels of commitment, offering all ten of their cups. And with that Star card, Aquarian energy, it is definitely divinely guided. Aries, Taurus energy. Um, yeah, I feel like the divine is playing a big role in bringing this back together for whatever reason. I feel like someone here had a lesson that they had to learn. Someone had to learn that this five of swords behavior is not how you do life, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have here? Messages for my Leos, the challenge. Tell me about the challenge here, please. Hierophant again, Taurus energy. Tell me about the challenge here, please. We've got the Hierophant and we've got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Tell me about the challenge here. And the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Energy, Pre-Empress, Energy. So I feel like what's happening here is we have a situation where the divine is getting involved. So we have someone here that's coming in claiming to want commitment, claiming like someone may even be coming in straight up proposing marriage. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, we have someone here that has leveled up. Someone's in pre-Empress mode. They're doing well financially. They look good, feel good, smell good, the whole nine, right? So I feel like someone here is very overprotective of themselves because obviously someone here got really hurt. I mean, you can't blame them, right? So someone's not really trusting um, this person that's coming forward. Someone's really not trusting the offer because it's so fast. Like someone goes from zero to 60, like in two seconds, someone just, they're gone. You're not speaking to them. They're, they fell off the face of the earth to, I think we should get married. Well, hi, how about, you know, I don't know, maybe taking me to dinner first, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, you know, someone just goes from like zero to six, 60, and I feel like the person that got hurt just isn't trusting it, like, what are you up to, you know, tell me about the outcome here, page of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, the death card in the reverse, scorpionic energy, clarity, guidance, love messages for Leo outcome. Four of Cups in the reverse. So Leo, what we have here is an apology coming in. We have someone saying that with the Death card in the reverse, I don't want this to be over. I don't want it to end between us. And with the Four of Cups in the reverse, someone's like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't know if I'm too late. I don't know if you've already moved on. I don't know if it's too late to fix this, but I have to try. 
I have to try, okay? So someone here is in that energy, Leo, and um, I think that it's interesting here because the person on this side really isn't open to new love. They're not open to new love, um, but at the same time, they're not exactly trusting this person, whereas before appeared, they were so willing to work this out, okay? So let's see what we have here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Leos? So we've got honeymoon and religious factors. Look at that. The divine is getting involved here, making um, the situation like the whole relationship as a whole leaving because I'm getting that six of swords energy here leaving that toxic place and moving um to more peaceful waters with separation and soulmate I feel like you've separate this person didn't realize that they were sabotaging a soulmate connection okay they did not realize that religious factors could be twin flame strong soul tie energy divine contract okay we've got romantic feelings in the reverse your feelings are real and worth exploring this this person didn't want to acknowledge the feelings that they had for you. And then when you were gone or after they made this move, do you see what I'm saying? After they made this move, um, they didn't want to express their love. They didn't want to. This person maybe was living in the ego uh, with the six of wands in the reverse. It would have entailed humbling their ego to come back towards you and tell you that they still loved you. So they just chose to try to not acknowledge those feelings for a while with romantic feelings in the reverse. But I feel like eventually with express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture um, and wedding under the deck. This situation involves marriage. I feel like someone is coming back to in fact express that love and offer very high levels of commitment maybe even marriage okay so let's take this into the extended let's see here um what's going on with this person let's see if we could get a time frame as to when they might be back let's see what their true feelings and intentions are if this is going to end again if they're ever going to end up being in five of swords modes mode again the outcome um between you and this person and maybe we'll pull some oracle to clarify okay so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys so much and take care bye